Well, there is a cold front on the way, but it's not moving that fast. <laughs> it's going to take about four more days for it to get here. I'll show you where it is in just a minute, but I do want to show you the breakdown of normal monthly rain month by month uh, here in West Palm Beach and uh, very similar totals for the Treasure Coast with a few exceptions. And uh, we're in what we call the dry season. And you see we only get about three and a half inches of rain it, typically in the month of January, even less in February and, and March and it starts to ramp up quickly as we head toward May, June and July. Of course, we get into the rainy season, but so far some discouraging news. We are in a dry month normally anyway, and we've only had under a quarter of an inch of rain so far. So not only the month, but the year has started off on a very dry note, and uh, there's really not a whole lot of rain in sight through the next five to seven days, though we will pick up some showers with a front heading in this weekend. 84 was the high out there today. Normally we're 75, so we were way above that and very close to records uh, of 87 for today. We had a little bit of rain earlier this morning, but not much. And the radar is clear right now. It's going to stay that way tonight. As you uh, head out the door in the morning, it should be dry for you. Don't have to worry about leaving the umbrella by the front door. You're not going to need it tomorrow. Uh, you can see there is a front that is kind of slicing through the Ohio and Tennessee valleys tonight. Cold enough for a mix of snow, sleet and freezing rain in some spots. But, uh, you know, like all the other weather systems lately, they're all getting bumped up well to our north with no impact here. We've got a southeasterly flow that will keep it really warm along the beaches tonight and fairly mild over the inland spots as well. And that'll be the case tomorrow and through the rest of the week until a cold front comes in late Friday. 76 right now, West Palm Beach, 70 in Stewart, 71 Port St. Lucie, 70 in Okeechobee, and you're currently 71 in Bureau Beach and 71 in Boca Raton right now. Out the door in the morning, early in the morning, lower 70s with partly cloudy skies, getting to the upper 70s by 9 and 10 a.m. Here's the deal on the weather map. High pressure is actually like a storm deflector. It's keeping all the stormy weather well to our north. It's actually two areas of high pressure with warm, sunny weather, good beach weather out there tomorrow. A good boating weather as well. More heat and humidity in the forecast on Wednesday as we head into February and by Thursday record highs are possible. Eventually this is going to start breaking down. There is a front to our north by then that's going to start sagging closer and closer to us getting here late Friday and Friday night, getting us a few showers possible by the weekend. 84 West Palm for the high tomorrow. 84 Indian Town, uh, Port St. Lucie, 82, 84 in Wellington for the high tomorrow. Treasure Coast, maybe some patchy fog late tonight. 69 fair and mild for the Palm Beaches. Nice beach day tomorrow. Southeast on the winds at 5 to 10. Seas less than 2 feet. Rip current risk is moderate. It's coming down, but swim at guarded beaches nonetheless. Uh, nice boating weather out there tomorrow. Southeast on the winds at 5 to 10. Seas 1 to 2 feet on the intracoastal. Just a little bit of a light chop. So here uh, I'm going to break down these changes for you. 84 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Still dry, warm, humid weather. Things start to change on Friday. One of two cold fronts gets in. Maybe a couple of scattered showers and storms late in the day, knocking us back into the 70s. It'll be breezy with a few passing showers over the weekend. A second front comes in on Monday and clears things out for good.